Okay, so I wanted to do a really quick video on how to fix an overexposed image. Now, this one isn't too bad because it's only the sky that's really overexposed. But you can see here on the histogram, literally everything is up on the far top right. Um, so if I pull down the highlights, you can see not a lot of difference is made. So hopefully in this video, we're going to be able to bring this image and turn it into something actually usable. So first of all, um, just mess around with the colors. I like to put a bit more blue into my images. Um, we can adjust the colors later when we can see it more. Now again, just bring down the exposure. There's not really a lot you want to do with that because that brings down the entire image. The contrast, I'm going to bring that down slightly. Now the highlights, you're just going to want to drop those completely. Um, you can see that it makes a bit of difference. Um, so that's obviously before, that's afterwards. Um, and again, if you don't like the colors afterwards, just put it back to what it was. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for the time being. The shadows, I'm going to bring the shadows up a bit so you can drop the shadows and it makes it more of a moody shot or you can lighten up the shadows. I'm going to lighten up the shadows and see how that looks. The whites you can bring up or you can bring down. It kind of is up to you really. I would bring them down ever so bring them up ever so slightly. The blacks also bring down just gives it a bit more vibrance. Now clarity, you can pull the clarity right up which really does bring out the foreground quite well or you can drop it down on this just to kind of give it that bit more detail in the foreground. The vibrance I'm going to drop slightly and saturation bring up ever so slightly so already you can see the image you can kind of see more of the image on the top left around here we can actually see the sand actually coming back into view whereas before we couldn't see any of it now if we just get rid of that the next thing to do is a tone curve it's basically just following every step from my previous videos on how I color grade um, I just pull up the shadows like that I'll straighten it out there a bit bring up the mid tones a bit brighter and then probably just drop down the highlights like that so that's the difference that the tone curve makes and again you can spend ages on the tone curve if you want to I may come back to it later now the blues again you don't need to do this this is just how I edit my images I always put a bit more blue into the shadows so I'll bring that up slightly like that and then I'll bring it down there so this is before the tone curve this is after the tone curve so you can see it's added a bit more color and it's given it that faded look that you get from doing this part of the tone curve and obviously this part just sort of mutes the whites a bit more now this is my favorite part this is uh, hue saturation and luminance the hue to kind of it all depends on what color scheme you're going for and what sort of look your image is obviously if I drag down the reds it makes things more pink if I drag it up it makes it sort of more greeny yellow um, I'm going to make it slightly more pink and again it's really how you do your workflow and how you want your images to look. The greens obviously they're not going to do a lot because there are no greens in this image. Um, aquas and blues again I always pull them down but to be honest this image there's not a lot going on with those colours. The purple does affect the aquas and blues as well. Now the magentas the entire shirt the entire hoodie is the magenta colour so it's, if you want it to be really sort of red or pink I kind of prefer the red so I'm going to leave it like that so before and after you see it hasn't really made too much difference apart from to the skin um, I'm going to bring a bit more orange back in so you can see really not a lot of difference is made it's slightly greener in the sky and that's really all it's made saturation you can kind of mess around with these as you please I'm going to bring the reds down a bit the oranges up because that's the sand right at the front the yellows again up a tiny bit greens doesn't make any difference aquas pull those up blues pull those up because I like my images to have some blue in them um, just because it's more pleasing it fits with the, my feed um, the purples again don't really do an awful lot I'm gonna pull those up probably to about there the magentas that'll be the entire hoodie so it can really blow out and look weird or I can pull it down I'm gonna pull it down probably to about half so before I've done the hue saturation and luminance that's what the image has changed now from the beginning we had that now we've got that now the luminance red is the face I'm going to bring it up slightly orange again is the sand so we're going to want that to be more I might actually bring the reds down yeah because that's the background you don't want to distract where the eye is going um, yellows bring those up again slightly aquas that's the sky so you want to bring those down and the blues probably down as well so you can get more of the sky now coming back up here to the blues I'm going to make the blues slightly more blue and less green um, and again just drop down the saturation a slight bit more you will notice as you go through you will have to go back and change things just because what you do later will affect what you've done earlier so so far that's kind of what I'm thinking now camera calibration again is more 
colours. So again, if I pull that down, I'm going to make it really green. If I pull the red primary up, I'm going to make it really orange. So that's how people get their teal and orange look. Um, and it all depends, again, on what colours you're going for on your feed. I personally like the teal, so I'm going to bring that down. If I pulled it up, then I get the sort of blue look. And then if I pull the red primary down, and I can kind of remove some of the greens if I wanted to. So you can go for something like that. Um, obviously, that's before and after. Um, I... Um, again, with all editing, if you're doing colours, I really recommend just colour grading it and then coming back to it a few days later just to kind of give your eyes a rest because you can overdo things. Um, and I think I have overdone the blues, so I'm going to try and desaturate the blues a bit. And what, actually, I'll do that in the HSL slider. So come up to here, bring the blue saturation down, and the aqua green also, see if that does anything. Um, the blue luminance brighten it up ever so slightly. Okay, so that's the before and that's the after after the color grade. Now again, you can go back and you can adjust more, but this is just a really quick uh, show you how you can save an overexposed image. And again, still it's a still pretty good image, judging by what it looked like from before and how it looks like afterwards. Now again, for lighting, during this was taken midday, like I think one o'clock in the afternoon it was taken. So you've got really really bright sunlight. So it's just proof that you can actually take photos during the day and you can actually get a usable image out of it afterwards so i hope you enjoyed that video i will probably have some more stuff coming up if you do want to follow my instagram you can see um, all of these photos it's uh, at sebastian underscore jwb